Good morning, folks, and welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. You know, we've been really, really busy with our, our fishing tours in Progresso, so I'm really excited to finally get a little time to break away, and we've made our way back to Seasile. Now, you've seen in the past, we've fished inshore for the tarpon. We fished down the way about a half an hour in that giant cenote for the tarpon, but today, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go offshore about 10, 12 miles, and we're gonna go for some big fish. Hopefully, we can catch some big fish for you. Y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Lures. Yozerti Fish the Best. Eagle Claw Trocar. Danko Pliers. Jack Link's Meat Snacks. And Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Well, we've made our way 19 miles offshore. Seas are pretty calm. Little one foot rollers are not bad. And I asked Captain Uto here, why this spot out here in the middle of the ocean? He said that uh, it's about 12 to 14 meters deep right here, lots of rocks, a big cave, and it's a special place for the caritos, the kingfish. So we're gonna see if we can catch us some kings with our Yozerti Sinuelos, our Yozerti lures, as well we have some sardines that we're gonna fish on the bottom. Just gonna see what we can catch for y'all. Here we go. Brought my captain Gary along because Gary knows how to catch fish. Caritos. Yes. Oh, she's a fighter. That's a screamer, Gary. What you got on there, Gary? I tell you what, we've got our inshore EC 3.5 Eagle Claw rod and reels. Well, I tell you what, these angelfish, these things are super strong fighting fish right there. Super strong. Gary likes to eat them on the barbecue, but not too many people like them. Yeah. Cool fish. Got me a fish. I got me a fish. Ah, yes. Ah, okay, yes. I got one. Yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pompano. I like to catch some big ones like that. Those are good. Yes. Yeah, right on. Well, you know, after running 19 miles offshore, it just did not pay out today. So we're going to make a run back inshore, 19 miles, and we're going to go see if we can hook up some tarpon in the inshore areas of Cisal, Yucatan, Mexico. Well, we did the offshore thing and that was flat. Just a bunch of small fish. So I decided to come back in here and see if we can catch some of these tarpon that are rolling in here. There are some good sized ones that are hitting it. There are a bunch of them in here. Look at this. So this is Puerto Abrigo Cisal. Let's see if they're feeding. And look at all these tarpon in here, y'all. You see that? Bastante. Let's see if we can catch one. Missed him. He was on. Catch me a pelican.
Now, if we can't catch them offshore, we'll come in here and catch tarpon. I love this spot here at Seasoffer. These juvenile, juvenile tarpon. There's so many of them in here, it's amazing. Ah, no, 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 no. No? No digo. On the least though. Nice little 10 pounder started off with. All right, let's see if I can catch me a couple more of these. Make up for this, make up for the day. No jump yet, but this is the tank. That's a hog. It's a hog. That's a strong, hard fighting tarpon right there. Yes, this will be hard. This will be hard. Ooh. This is a hog. This is a hog. This is a 40 pound, 40 libres. Ye corlies, man. That's uno. Fat slob of a tarpon. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I. Whew. Ah. Uh, oh, yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That was a good one, dude. That was a good one. Man, this thing is fat. Yes! Yes! Alright, so I've got two tarpon in the boat. Four hooked up. Give Gary a chance to get him on. They're rolling all over. They are, there must be 200 little sabalos in here. That last one though, that was a tank. Come on Gary, get him. Get him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ah, I got him. You gonna 
come up here to boat. That's a boy. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Otro. Otro, yeah, Otro. man. Here, Gary, you got him another one. Watch out for the Madera. Tank? Heavy? Oh, Gary got him a grandota. <laughs> Come on, Gary, let me see the photo. <laughs> Folks, well, welcome back to day two of Yucatan Anglers TV Exploration. Yesterday, we had a great time in Cisal. We uh, didn't really catch anything offshore to uh, really brag about, but man, I was so happy to be able to move back inshore into Puerto Abrigo and catch some tarpon, which we're gonna do that here today. We're in our home turf of Progreso, Yucatan, Mexico. We're out here at the Four Mile Pier. We've seen some tarpon up into here over the last few days, so we're gonna target again some tarpon. We're gonna do a little trolling offshore, not too far offshore, just a couple of miles, and then we're gonna work our way back inshore. Let's see if we can put some fish on camera for you. Stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. We attacked that twice, huh? Off and on, off and on. I got a turkey. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. Got him. Got him on the sardine with that four odd trocar circle C hook. Yes. Ah. Yes. Nice one. Nice one. Yes. Ah, she didn't want to give up. Ah. Oh, she wrote, she came off. It's a turban. Pull it up, pull it up. Get her, Gary, get her. Let's see. Let's see her. I don't know, it's head bobbing like a jack. Yeah, it is. It's a jack. That's a good sized jack, though, boy. I tell you what, if jacks jumped, they would rival a turpin. Gary likes filleting these open, putting them on the barbecue. But I tell you what, every single fish in this ocean loves that DOA terrorize. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, it's got a jack. It's got a jack. All right. On that terrorize. Nice. Nice, Gary. All right. I got you. I might be a jack too. I think it's, yeah, it's head bobbing like it's a jack. It's not jumping. I don't know. I think it's a jack. I can tell the way it's bobbing its head down. It's, it's a jack. Yes. Lots and lots. Ooh, it's my bigger, Gary. One bigger, buddy. Yes. Got me Jack. Got jacked. See that one? Yeah, oh, that's a nice one. Choke car, circle hook. Ah, oh, got me another tarpon. Oh, you got, ah, oh, you're right here at the boat. I reeled him up a little too close. Oh, he's jumping off the boat. He's jumping off the boat. Oh, come on. Let's get this one in the boat. Ah, oh, yes, ah. Oh. <laughs> little acrobatic juveniles. Yes, yes. Got me a little baby. Got me a little baby. I like it. I like it. Nothing better than tarpon fishing, let me tell you. Just gotta love it. Yes. She was ready to go. Oh, there's a tarpon for you. There's your tarpon, Gary. Right on. Right on. Play him. Play him good. Play him good. Let's get him up in, y'all. Come up in here. Come up here to me. Ah. Come up in here. One more time. One more time. Bring him up. Yes, yes. Right off. All right, let's go ahead and release her. Excellent, Gary, excellent.
splashy in the face. Take off, big girl. Take off. There is launch. Tell the jack, man. I just want to go down. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, yeah. oh, there's. Fun little jacks. Got them on that sardine with the tool car. Nice little fish. Okay. Well, that was a that was a blast. I love this little spot. We haven't fished it very much, but uh, the times we've had fished it in the past, it's been pretty productive. Today was awesome for the tarpon. We're gonna go just troll along this four mile pier. We're gonna see if we can pick up anything trolling. Then we're gonna work our way back inshore, see if we can target some tarpon inshore. Stay tuned, here we go. This area has always been really good for trolling. Of course, you know, I'm an inshore guy, so trolling is really not super exciting way of fishing for me. But we have caught some big jacks out here, some big kings, what we were trying for yesterday that didn't, we didn't get. Caught bonitas out of here, the mackerel. When it's this calm, you can see the bait fish jumping. And you can also see the big schools when they start attacking. We'll give this a couple of passes through here. This is the world's longest pier recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records. We were awarded the recognition just about two months ago. Pretty awesome. So we're trolling today. I've got my Yozerti. This is the inshore fingerling. It's a floating lure, deadly lure, man. I tell you, we've caught a lot of fish on these. Also, I have my 30 pound Yozerti Super Braid. I tell you, this stuff is so strong. I love it. I love it. All right, we're gonna continue on a little bit further here. Well, we did the trolling thing, offshore, inshore, nothing. But I'm seeing tarpon rolling up here in our our usual spots where we're catching them. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna see if we can hook another one up for you. Well, you know, our inshore tarpon here are uh, very pick picky, very, very picky. We uh, gotta have that moving tide. Without a moving tide, we're seeing a few rowing, but they're just not in that chase mode. We had a great morning though out there at the Four Mile Pier. Caught a bunch of fish, caught some tarpon. Great way to end up our show. You guys, we hope you enjoyed our 
Yucatan Anglers TV exploration, fishing in Cisal and right here in Progresso. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Tours. Yozerti Fish the Best. Eagle Claw Trocar. Danko Pliers. Jack Link's Meat Snacks. And Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there.